We had been returning to Athens on and off throughout our journey, only to watch tensions grow as the summer heat turned into an inferno of outrage and emotion. The financial crisis had wrought havoc on the Greek economy and Greek society. Greece had become a test case in how much austerity a Western nation could absorb before it plunged into chaos. In a quiet park near Syntagma Square, we collected our thoughts and tried to understand how the issue of migration fit into this most tragic of Greek dramas. To understand more about the situation, we spoke first with Médecins Sans Frontières, who had been working on the issue for years. These people are leaving the so-called detention facilities in the north and they come to the big detention center that's Athens. Because when they come in Athens, they, uh, nobody is responsible anymore for them. While in detention, bad or good and very bad living conditions, somebody is in charge of them. In Athens, we also met with Mohammed and Abbas, two Mauritanians, one of whom we had met just after he crossed the border in Evros. I wanted to see how he and his friend were holding up after I had heard about frequent attacks by right-wing thugs who were targeting migrants. Il vient même jusqu'à Hermou où on vend là. Ouais. Il nous trouve là-bas, il crée des problèmes. Pourquoi on vend ici euh, Retournez chez vous, vous êtes des imbéciles. Qu'est-ce que vous faites notre chez nous euh, Bon, il déconne souvent, il tire des gens trois, quatre, cinq, mais rien. Ça arrive souvent. Le, ça arrive souvent. Le gouvernement ne fait rien. We also met with Médecins du Monde, a French aid group that helps migrants in Greece. It's extremely bad for them. Extremely bad. Even for those who, who are living uh, here for many years, even, even for if it's for those who are coming three, two months here, I think it's the same. They face a lot of difficulties. We traveled Greece for nearly six weeks. It was a trip that redefined our perception of a country that we knew well and humanized the situation we had only read about in numbers and statistics. We hope it did the same for you.